consequences of the outbreak of the global capitalist crisis, and particularly the working class popular struggles in Greece over the last two years, have found themselves at the centre of the attention of workers in many countries all over the world. Of course, the bourgeois mass media and the political representatives of capital tried to muddy the waters. Nevertheless, they could not conceal the fact that the developments in Greece provide an opportunity for workers to think about the causes of the capitalist crisis. For the role of the European Union and the other imperialist organisations to be exposed and to further enrich the experience of communists concerning the development of the class struggle against the bourgeois and opportunist parties and forces. The developments contradicted the apologists of the system who fostered the idea that the counter-revolutionary changes in the Soviet Union and the other socialist countries, the overthrow of socialism, meant the end of history, the end of the class struggle. The reality demonstrated that capitalism, which is in the highest imperialist stage of its development, gives birth to poverty, unemployment, suffers from incurable contradictions, contradictions which are manifested in cyclical crises and wars. The crisis which broke out in Greece and in other capitalist countries in a synchronised manner is a crisis of capital over-accumulation which has as its basis the sharpening of the contradiction between the social character of production and the capitalist appropriation of its results because the means of production are the property of the capitalists. The government of the Social Democrats sought, together with the EU and the IMF, to thrust the burden of the crisis onto the workers taking away important gains with the aim of reducing the price of labour power. Έρχεται θύελα. Θέλουν ισχυρό δικοματισμό για να πληρώσεις εσύ την κρίση. Δεν πάει άλλο. Αντεπίθεση. Κυριολεκτικά πρόκειται για πόλεμο. Εξαπολύουν πόλεμο. Και στον πόλεμο απαντάς με πόλεμο. Αποδέσμευση από τους συμπεριαλιστικούς οργανισμούς. The answer which was given by the communists of Greece and the class-oriented trade union movement was that the workers are not responsible for the crisis. The plutocracy must pay for the crisis. The slogan, worker without you no cog can turn, you can do without the bosses, resounded in dozens of demonstrations over the last two years in the great mass-scale class struggles, with the KKE and PAME playing the leading role. PAME, which is the class-oriented trade union movement, rallying in its ranks hundreds of class-oriented trade unions, federations, labour centres and struggle committees. The communists, the forces of the communist youth of Greece, KNE, the friends of the KKE, the working men and women who support PAME, played and play the leading role in over 20 general strikes, in dozens of major working class and popular demonstrations, in the occupations of ministries and other state buildings. All these forces are in the factories, in the workplaces, in the popular neighbourhoods. They inform and organise the working class, the people, the youth, they protect the strikes with picket lines. They come into conflict with the employers and the forces of oppression. They deal with the anti-communism, the slanders unleashed by the bourgeois and opportunist parties and groups. The 
organization of the struggle occurs in conditions of intense confrontation with the forces of employer and government-led trade unionism, in which the officials of PASOK and New Democracy participate, who control the General Confederation of Greek Workers and the Confederation of Public Sector Employees, which belong to the international organizations of the compromised trade unions, ITUK and the ETUC, and have the support of the opportunists of Sin Syriza and other anti-PAME forces. This bloc, the prestige of which is continually shrinking in the working class and avoids showing itself in the factories, supports the strategy of capital. It is a supporter of the European Union. It fosters class collaboration, confusion and false expectations among the workers. The politicization of the struggle is not limited to the confrontation with the anti-people government and policies. It does not restrict itself to fight for better terms for the sale of labor power, but poses the question of the abolition of the exploitation of man by man. The starting point of this orientation is that the working class produces the wealth and should claim it, struggling for its own power. In this direction, the KKE is very persistent in the promotion of the social alliance of the working class, the small and medium scale farmers and the self-employed. It is a fact that the bourgeois class and its political representatives are worried about the course, orientation and the reputation of this mass movement and for that reason they look for ways to trap the people's indignation into a path which is painless for the system. They sought to set up provocations at the expense of the class-oriented labour movement, which were revealed by the KKE. Their plans utilised the so-called movement of the squares, where, with the aid of bourgeois media, bourgeois and opportunist parties, nationalist organisations, marginal anti-authoritarian groups, they sought to trap indignant workers into reactionary slogans such as Parties out, trade unions out. Their plans did not manage to impede the dynamics of the class-oriented trade union movement as it was demonstrated by the magnificent 48-hour strike in mid-October 2011. Thus, the forces of capital chose the murderous attack which was unleashed by groups of provocateurs against the demonstration at the second day of the strike on the 20th of October. Anarcho-fascist groups who were armed with the equipment that the security authorities possess batons, masks, stun grenades, chemicals, fire extinguishers, etc. attacked throwing stones or broken marble at the demonstration of PAME in order to disperse it. The forces of PAME that were guarding the demonstration managed to thwart this plan. The demonstration, despite the murderous attack, was not dispersed. Nevertheless, the attack led to the death of one comrade, of the 53-year-old construction worker and trade unionist of PAME, Dimitris Kotsaridis, while 80 demonstrators of PAME were injured. The forces of PAME defended the demonstration from the plans for its dissolution and not the bourgeois parliament as the panic-stricken ultra-leftists and Trotskyites supported when they saw that the broad popular masses recognised the leading role of PAME in the development of the class struggle. Under the conditions of the sharpening of the class struggle in Greece, the expression of internationalist solidarity, as tens of communist parties and class-oriented trade unions did, becomes necessary. The forces of capital and the European Union, realising the difficulty to pass the anti-people measures through a one-party government, proceeded with the formation of a government by social democrats, liberals, nationalists. The KKE denounced this government as a reactionary front and called on the people to strengthen its struggle for the disengagement of Greece from the imperialist unions of the European Union and NATO, with people's power and a unilateral cancellation of the debt. The KKE has formed positions and demands for every problem that constitute the basis of the everyday struggle. In addition, these demands are linked in a cohesive alternative proposal that gives perspective to the struggle. The firm basis of the programmatic analysis of the KKE is that in our era, which is an era of transition from capitalism to socialism, 
the class struggle is moving towards the solution of the main contradiction between capital and labour. The revolutionary change in Greece will be socialist. The driving powers of the socialist revolution will be the working class as the leading power, the semi-proletarians, the poor farmers and the most oppressed popular petty bourgeois strata in the city. The policy of alliances which is based on the anti-imperialist, anti-monopoly line of struggle, contributes to the rallying of the big majority of the people. It is the way that contributes to the change of the correlation of forces and under certain conditions to carry out the transition to social. There is only one choice. Να κοινωνικοποιηθεί η γη, οι μεγάλες επιχειρήσεις στον αγροτικό τομέα, οι μεγάλες επιχειρήσεις στο συγκεντρωμένο εμπόριο. Να αναδιαρθρωθεί η αγροτική παραγωγή με κίνητρο συγκέντρωσης σε παραγωγικούς συνεταιρισμούς, όχι αυτούς που έχουμε γνωρίσει. Η κοινωνικοποίηση των μέσων παραγωγής και ο κεντρικός πανεθνικός σχεδιασμός θα γίνει όχι μόνο με ιδεολογικέ και πολιτικές θέσεις, αλλά με επιστημονικά εργαλεία και θα απελευθερώσει μεγάλες αναξιοποίητες παραγωγικές δυνατότητες. Θα διασφαλίσουμε με επιστημονικά κριτήρια συνδυασμένη ιεράρχηση και ικανοποίηση κοινωνικών αναγκών. Ο εργατικός λαϊκός έλεγχος θα ξεκινά από κάθε παραγωγική μονάδα με εκλεγμένους και ταυτόχρονα ανακλητούς αντιπροσώπους και θα επεκτείνεται σε κάθε κλάδο και περιοχή. Ο κεντρικός μάλιστα σχεδιασμός θα ξεπεράσει και την ανισομετρία που υπάρχει στην ανάπτυξη περιφερειών στο εσωτερικό της χώρας. Η λαϊκή εξουσία μπορεί να διασφαλίσει τη λαϊκή κυριαρχία, όπως είπαμε, με την πραγματική αποδέσμευση από όλε τις συμπεριαλιστικές συμμαχίες. Συμπόρευση λοιπόν με το ΚΚΕ, άμεσο, σύνθημα πάλι και δράση είναι αυτό. Αποδέσμευση από την Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση, διαγραφή του χρέους με λαϊκή εξουσία.